Now, general anesthetics, which are given in this perioperative period, the crucial sort of perioperative period for intervention, it has been shown that many of the anesthetics that we use are immunosuppressive and tumor promoting. So if you look at this, this is a percentage lung tumor retention. Again, this is in an animal model. Animals exposed to ketamine, halothane, thiopentone tend to have a higher retention of lung tumor. So in other words, ketamine, thiopentone, and halothane suppress an NK cell activity and promote metastasis in animal model. Sevoflurane, desflurane also inhibit immune function and again in proportion to the magnitude of the surgery. The notable exception is propofol, which has no effect and may actually protect against metastasis. And here you can see that propofol has had almost no effect on uh, tumor retention. So propofol seems to be all right. And most of the other agents, including the intravenous and the inhaled agents, seem to be detrimental as far as uh, promoting immunosuppression and tumor growth is concerned. Now, you know, when there is a tumor, the tumor is, consists of rapidly dividing cells. And the, these cells depend on the host or the native uh, uh, vascular, vascularization for supply of nutrients. And at the core, with the rapidly dividing cells, these cells are actually most furthest away from nutrition and therefore they are hypoxic because they have less oxygen uh, coming from the blood vessels, right? Now, in some tumors, as a response to the hypoxia or the lack of nutrients that these tumor cells at the core uh, suffer, they develop, they upregulate genes which uh, synthesize what we call as hypoxia inducible factors. And these hypoxia inducible factors make the tumor cells resistant to hypoxia and in fact promote the growth of tumor cells even in an hypoxic environment. So these tumor cells are actually resistant to hypoxia and continue to grow in spite of adverse circumstances. So these are very tough cancer cells which survive adverse situation circumstances and can actually proliferate, cause local recurrence and even metastasis. So hypoxia inducible factors help uh, growth of a tumor and promote tumor growth and uh, thriving of the tumor. Now, most of the anesthetics actually promote the induction of hypoxia inducible factor genes, but propofol, does not promote or upregulate hypoxia inducible factor. So propofol appears to be protective even as far as hypoxia inducible factors are concerned. So propofol seems to be a good drug. Opioids are very, very commonly used in anesthetic practice, but it has been shown that opioids are actually immunosuppressive. Acute as well as chronic administration of opioids inhibits cellular and humoral immune function and NK cell activity in the immune system. Opioids impair microphage fun function, they reduce B cell proliferation and antibody formation. And here you can see that the NK cell activity is inhibited by fentanyl and tumor retention is much higher with fentanyl than in control animals. So opioids are not good news as far as tumor recurrence and metastasis is concerned. Opioids also promote angiogenesis. The endothelial cells ex uh, express opioid receptors which are stimulated by opiates. This leads to increased production of nitric oxide synthase, which causes cell, cell pro proliferation, migration, and protease release. Morphine also increases the vascular endothelial growth factors, which causes angiogenesis, all of which actually are helpful as far as uh, allowing tumor cells to take hold and get a vascular supply and metastasis are concerned. So in short, what we've seen is that most of the anesthetic agents, they are immunosuppressive, they reduce new natural killer cell activity. Again, please remember, I'm largely talking of animal models and laboratory experiments. Nitrous oxide, volatile agents, morphine, all of them seem to be detrimental as far as tumor recurrence and metastatic activity is concerned. The only good drugs which do not seriously impact the immune function and which may not result in tumor retention and metastasis in animal models of propofol, tramadol, and COX-2 inhibitors, which are actually used for the treatment of some kinds of tumors.